de message for September 12 to September 18 is Day of Atonement. Thursday, September 16, will be Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And we know the Day of Atonement is the holiest day of the year. My God, my God. And what the Lord is saying to us, that we must be holy and in order to do so we must come before him and repent of our sins my god my god this is a time that god is waiting for us to repent let us go right now to numbers chapter 29 and let's start the reading with verse 7 on the tenth day of the seventh month, hold a sacred assembly. The Lord wants you to go to your place of worship and practically have communion with Him. You must deny yourselves and do no work. What the Lord is saying by that this is a day of sacrifice that you will say to yourself, I rather not go out there in the marketplace making money, but I will be, hallelujah, in front of the throne of God to pray Him, to do sacrifice. This is the time when people practically, they they dress a lot of synagogue you will see you know place of worship people dress in white this is the holiest day of the year and this is a time you see people choose to fast fasting before the lord amen and amen and this is a time to bow down the prophecy for this week is saying unto us, you must bow down to God. Guess what? God will not bow down to you. You must bow down to God. Amen and amen. Yes, God doesn't care how much money you, are, you have, how rich you are. God said, you must bow down to me. I will never bow down to to mankind hallelujah so what are you going to do on Thursday you are going to bow down to God and you are going to repent we can call also this day is a day of repentance you will repent before God, you will change the course. You will have a conversation with God and you will say unto God, I am sorry. I have acted wrongfully before you. Forgive me. Forgive my sins. My God, my God. Yes. And you do that on the seventh day on the 10th day of the seventh month. Thursday, September 16, will be the 10th day of the seventh month. And we know the seventh month is, is called, in the Bible, not Tishri, but the month of Etanim. Amen and amen. And the Lord said, deny yourself. Present 
as a pleasing aroma to the Lord, a burnt offering of one young, one young bull, one ram, and seven lambs a year old, all without defect. Remember, on the Feast of Trumpet, God said, present an offering. And now he's saying again, present an offering. Like I said to you, this is the month to feast on, on the holiness of the Lord and to give gift to your God. Yes, we tend to ask God for things, to receive things for God. But God said, no, 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 no. This month is a month to repent before me. You are going to do a sacrifice. The things that you used to do, you are not going to do them. And you are going to present offerings to me. And we see, when we read it, we, we see burnt offering. And verse 9 is going to talk about grain offering. With a bull offer a grain offering of, of three tenths of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with oil. A lot of people may say, may say, oh, they're talking about things to cook here. I will not. Yes, but what What if we tell you, you bring one bull. Do you know how, how, how much that costs? <laughs> so if you try to play that, it's not gonna work. Yes, what Moses was thinking about, a day will come, you will not have to give an offering anymore but you will thank god for jesus christ because jesus became the burnt offering jesus became the grain offering on the cross right there and this is why you know people are giving are presenting a burnt offering because I, jesus became for them by dying on the cross the burnt offering Amen and amen. By dying on the cross, a grain offering. Amen and amen. With the ram, two tenths of an ephah, and with each of the seven lambs, one tenth of an ephah. And he said also, you must do as you did, you know, during the Feast of Trumpet. Include one male goat as a sin offering in addition to the sin offering for atonement you know for atonement for atonement and the regular burnt offering with its grain and their drinks their drink offerings so god said you are going to do that in addition to what you used to do amen and amen these are the sacrifices the Lord said, you should do in order to be blessed by me, in order to find yourself righteous before me. But, oh, last night, God said something so extraordinary. The Lord said to me, Apostle Antoine, this is the time of the chosen. I said, what do you mean by that? He said, yes, a lot of people will be selected for blessing. Hallelujah. You could be selected, but he said, a lot of people will be elected for blessing. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Selected and, and elected. Is that mean different? Is, that, is there something different here? And he said, a lot of people will be chosen. My God, my God. He said, not all people who are selected ended up being elected. Not all those who are elected will be among the chosen to receive the fullness of God in the coming year. Like I said to you, Listen to me. I'm talking pure revelation. I've heard from the voice of my God last night. And this is brand new. The Lord said, 
You know, some people, September 16, will be selected to be blessed. Among the selected, amen and amen, some will be elected to be blessed. And among the elected, not all of them will be chosen to actually receive the blessing of God. Because the Lord said, this is the time when, when he will get his chosen one. I said, God, what are you saying to me here? The Lord said, Hallelujah. This is a time of report. I said, Yes. What is it, God? He said, Those who, that I have blessed last year, they must re re present themselves to me. And some of them will be rejected because of the stewardship, said the Lord. I said, my God, my God. So this is the significance of this season. Preparatory to meet your God on the Feast of Tabernacle. On the Feast of Tabernacle, those who will enjoy Listen to me. Those who will enjoy the Feast of Tabernacles, said the Lord. And I'm going to repeat. He just said unto me to repeat that again. Those who will rejoice after the seven days of the Feast of Tabernacles will be the chosen. I said, yes. Yes, because they will know in their heart. They will know in their hearts and minds that they will be blessed. They will be confident of their blessing. My God, my God. And he said something extraordinary. These are those who have honored me. These are those who have done the penitent work. These are those that will be obedient to my word. My God, my God. So, and, you know, that take me back to a conversation I had with a Jewish friend of mine. He said, Patrick, we have something in the Jewish culture. I said, what is it? What is it? And he said to me, this is the day of atonement. Yom Kippur. He said, my business will not work right if I don't go out there and repent for the sin that I have committed for the previous year. I said, why you say that? He said, yeah, because we follow the Jewish calendar. Now, the Lord said to me, Apostle, you have a greater revelation than them. He said, yes. You have a greater revelation than them. You know my calendar. I said, yes, you have taught me so. He said, tell my people this month, the month of Etanim, especially on young people. He said, you know, that friend of mine said, I have to repent. I have to do better in my business. I have to do better toward the people that work for me. And I know some of them, I have done them wrong. I have to go before God and repent of all the wrong things that I have done in order for my blessing to continue to flourish. Imagine us Christian grasping this word grasping this word and be obedient to this word and obey God. And now, the Lord said to me, tell them if they want to be blessed, 
This is the question right now for you. Do you want to be blessed or not? Do not waste God's time. And come on young Kippur crying. When you will not do the work. And tell him. Select me. Elect me Lord. Choose me. But the Lord said something extraordinary. The Lord said something extraordinary. He said not all of those that will come on their knees before me will be blessed by me. My God, my God. Not all, all of those who will come before me will be blessed. And once again, this is the thing that you must know. Not all those who are selected for blessing will be elected for it. Not all those who are elected to receive the blessing will be chosen. Among those I will bless, said the Lord. The choice is yours said the Lord. But you must start first by repenting of all your sins, of all the things that you have done, the wrong things that you have done to your brothers, to your sisters, to the Holy Spirit that you have bruised. So many times you have bruised the Holy Spirit, said the Lord. You have bruised my heart. You have bruised me. You have humiliated me before mankind. You have chosen things before me. This is the call that we answered last week. During the Feast of Trumpet. And it is resounding right now. In the hearts of all mankind. The angels are here. To bring about the will of the Lord in your lives. God will be seated on his throne next Thursday. To hear you. To hear your argument. Why you have acted the way you acted toward your fellow men. Why you have done what you have done? Why? Explain yourself. Set all the case before me, said the Lord. And you will be selected. If you prove yourself, you will be elected. But, Will you be among the chosen? My prayer for you is for you to have the courage to bow down before your God and say to him that you are sorry. And say to him that you will do better. And say to him from this day forward, I will be your good son in the likeness of your beloved Jesus. If you fall into the lies of the devil and refuse to repent, you will be among the rejected one because a conceal will be seated a council of 63 beings will be seated to hear the judgment of God toward you as you present yourself before him. Let all those who will repent sincerely before their God receive the promise. 
May those who will decide to defy the almighty power get what they deserve, a double portion of his rejection. There is a bridge to cross from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And this bridge is there for you to cross over on the day of atonement. May you be blessed by your God. May your life, your lives be transformed as he is seated on his throne to bless you. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.